All right, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel and to a quick news update as we did receive some information just a few hours ago in regards to the Scarif update, which was supposed to be coming this week. It has now unfortunately been delayed, but we have got some other details which are pretty exciting, including some of the things that can be expected in the update when it does drop, as well as some brand new heroes and villain skins, which I'm sure you all are very excited for. So we're gonna jump into the details right now. Be sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video if you are excited for the Scarif update and also some new hero skins which we found out that we're going to be getting as well. So I'm going to get right to it but before I do quickly I have been streaming over on Twitch a lot lately. If you guys want to jump over there and see me playing some other games feel free to go over there and drop a follow. I would really appreciate that from all of you. Anyway starting off with the delay to the Scarif update we obviously were expecting it this week but due to all the craziness with the coronavirus or COVID-19 whatever you want to call it going around it has unfortunately forced the DICE team to start working from home. Now, when you work on a game, there are obviously a lot of moving parts, and when those moving parts are then separated and have to work in separate workspaces, they don't actually work as efficiently as they can. So it can cause a knock-on effect, which is exactly what Ben has said in this like mini CT. So there is just going to be some delays because a lot of the process actually takes much more time when you're not working at the desk next to the person that you're working on the project with. So it makes sense. I kind of had a feeling that this was gonna happen. A lot of you guys were asking me in stream the other day is the Scarif update still coming this week I said I wasn't sure and now we have confirmation that it has been pushed back to mid April so I would be expecting probably the second week of April for this to drop hopefully it's no longer than that but they have said that they'll keep us posted on any further timing adjustments moving away from the negative news though and moving into the positive Ben has told us some of the things we can expect in this update he says that the next update will see supremacy arrive for the age of rebellion headlined by the return of the tropical planet Scarif. This is nothing new. We obviously already knew this. The mode will feature a number of Age of Rebellion locations. So honestly, we already knew about Scarif and Death Star 2, but we could get a couple more in here as well. So I'm excited to see what maps they could be, and I'm sure you guys are as well. He also said we have some updates for instant action, including the Age of Rebellion, as well as a new way to play offline. This sounds like more than just the Age of Rebellion for instant action. This sounds like they've actually got some kind of new game mode. Now, I don't know what it could potentially be. I know a lot of people have been asking for more offline modes so this could potentially be one of those hopefully we get something that's really cool and that's going to provide the longevity of the game that everyone wants once the online support is shut down but like i said i don't know what it is but it'll be interesting to see what it's going to be and finally the biggest thing that ben actually announced for this mini ct was that there are going to be new hero and villain skins coming into this update he said that both co-op and heroes vs villains will be receiving some additional locations and we can confirm that there will be some new hero and villain appearances arriving as well and he finished off the sentence by saying what fun now for anyone that has watched my stream you guys know that what fun is actually a quote from Darth Maul in Star Wars Rebels and I feel like this is almost confirmation that we're going to be getting a Darth Maul skin like I said nothing is never a hundred percent but this is about as close as you can get to Ben teasing a Darth Maul skin and if it is during the Age of Rebellion obviously Star Wars Rebels fits into that time slot so we can probably expect a Darth Maul skin coming to that. Now, we're not only getting Darth Maul, obviously there's going to be some hero skins as well and possibly some other villain appearances on top of that as well. So I'm really excited. Let me know down in the comments what skins you want to see the most for Battlefront 2 because I'm really excited for some brand new appearances. Anyways, they have said that they'll keep us updated with everything in the coming weeks and as a reminder, they have enabled two times XP and there will be triple XP in the game from March 27th to the 29th. Anyways, that's pretty much all the details I have for you guys at this point. Like I said, if anything does change, I will keep you updated in a future video. So make sure to turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any other changes. But with all of that said, guys, I am going to get out of here. I'll probably be over on Twitch streaming shortly after this video is posted. So make sure you guys come and say hi. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here now. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I will see you in the next one. And may the force be with you always.